my beautiful friends and to welcome back to my channel. It's time again for a session how to sing and today I want to look at how to sing Naomi Scott's Speechless. Currently the song is super popular here among my students in the studio in Singapore and they tremendously enjoy it so I'm hoping you to show some tips and tricks in how to conquer the high notes and something that you can use for home. If you want to have the full closure, please feel free to look at my website, tanyaladyvocalstudio.com. You can book an online lesson with me and conquer this amazing, beautiful song technically together. Let's go right into it. The first thing you want to do is locate your register because I think that's really, really important because it's, it's no problem at all to just lower a key or one or two or what is convenient for you and then use that song, you know, you don't, uh, and, and unless you are applying for an audition, right? But I want you to really look at, okay, what is my, what is the highest note that I can go? Because if you're going to sing a really high belt, and it's too high for you, it's out of your register, uh, at the moment, you're gonna injure and hurt your voice. You know, you're gonna be just you know, getting bulky, tense up, you're gonna, uh, you're just gonna uh, constrict your vocal folds, and that's not what you wanna do, right? Because there's no sense in singing, I won't be silent, and it's gonna sound like that, right? So you really wanna make sure that this is a song um, that, that shows your sweet spot and then maybe some high notes that you can execute here or there. Whatever. Let's go into the second part. Cause I, I cannot start to crumble. So what happens here is I'm being very open on the eye. We are not singing this song, the, the, the words like we speak them, right? Because you're not want to go and sing cause I, it's going to be too nasally sounding. And that's not what we want. So here, big up, drop the chin, yeah, make sure that you project well. I cannot stop to crumble. Now I'm having better grip by choosing the O here. Just gives me a little bit stability, better grip, it sounds more powerful, that's what I think. You can of course go on an A, combo, and form it for the crumble. We just can go straight into the crumble. Um, that is up to you. I would suggest you have more grip with the O. So come on and try. The same. Try. Big I here. It's not try. So come on and try. It's not what you're looking for. You want to go for a clean, nice, beautiful vowel. Try here. Now I'm adding a heavy vibrato there because I really want to let it swing. You don't have to. You can just, you know. So come on and try. Well, I'm still having the vibrato there. So come on and try. Try to shut me or cut me down. Now you see that I'm still staying very open here. Now you don't have to be that big bright because the power has to come from within the vocal folks. It doesn't have to be from the amateur, but I do think it really is a tremendous help if you're opening up your amateur there. Now let's go into the chorus. Now that's the moment where people feel that they want to go into the head voice because that's where the, there is a break for some, uh, depends on where your register is, but there's more likely going to be a break. Now I won't be silent. Now you have it here, silent. Now what happens is you have that silence and you want to be open. You don't want to go, I won't be silent. Now I want to give you an exercise of how you can tackle that because it's going to be loud and even for me my register is also going to be loud because I'm a contra alto that means I really have to work hard for every note that's that is you know going higher I have to work I, work, I have to work harder <laughs> So we're gonna have that nasal resonance using a little bit more of twang here. Now, if you are comfortable with that register, right, and it just and you just feel like, oh, I'm tensing up a little bit, I would recommend you to take out your tongue and sing that part. It's gonna be like that. And that's 
why I want to recommend you that book here. It's because it gives you full closure of the anatomy of your voice, uh, voice and larynx and everything that comes across. And you might want to look into it because the tongue is a really, really big, um, a big muscle that is connected to your hyoid bone and which is connected to your larynx. It's the only bone that you have in your larynx. So what you want to do is basically to really make sure that the tongue makes a little bit more place because the tongue tends to get in the back, the back of the throat, and therefore manipulates the pitch of the larynx. Also, the tongue is more likely to tense up many times. You don't want to have that. Let me just show you a picture of the tongue, and then you also see a picture of the bone. And that's how it looks like, right? So you have it going on here. You see the tongue is pretty big, and then you see how all the muscles are connected to each other. So we cannot underestimate the power of, of, of the muscles and how well everything works together. So we want to make sure that the tongue is not pulling back. It's quite the opposite here. Now, nay, nay, nay is going to make, going to help you a lot. And then you're going to add some words into it. Now, I think the rest is fine. All I know is I won't go speechless is a, is a phrase that I'm going to sing on one breath. Try to sing it in one breath because you want to keep that power, you want to keep that stability and you don't need so much air to execute high notes. Yeah, that's, an, that's a common uh, misconception that we need a lot of air for those high notes. It's actually the opposite, okay? Let, and then actually let the storm in. I cannot be broken. That's quite repetitive. Try to lock me in. Now what happens towards the second part is that you're going to stay into in that and kind of power with that, with that kind of similar effort and stability which requires to engage muscles and muscular activity there so make sure you're standing you're not sitting make sure that you are really well supported and have a good posture there because that's really important it's like a house you're gonna build a house that is your platform here now if you want a full vocal lesson a full closure technically then please feel free to look at my homepage tinyladyvocalstudio.com book right now straight away don't miss the opportunity to be working on this amazing song and work on your technical parts i hope i could give you a little bit of closure and my favorite exercise here along the way don't forget to subscribe hashtag weaponize your voice again i love it and it would make me so happy if you're seeing right now those following videos. Here you can see a video how my student Roshni was singing that song pretty well. And it would make me so happy if you look at that video as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I see you next time around.